So welcome back to the channel guys, our first uh, Happy New Year, so today is the 1st of January 2000, uh, 2022, 2001. I wish it was that there. Today videos we're going to talk about flow ink flow. Um, I had uh, some requests about that, which is uh, very play, uh, it's one for the lemon. So uh, here I have some little tools for that, um, which is uh, a magnum, uh, it's just old school, uh, old school, uh, let's say old school, old school, no, it's a disposable grip, which you can see is like a plastic thingy, with the disposable needles, which is the old school way to work with, I used to work a lot with them. Also I have uh, here the other part, so just to, a uh, old machine to try it, to see how it flows on the, on the grip, and so on and then the new school totally new school the new machine i have i already made a video on that the unboxing and so on pretty nice machine we really love it still nice machine so let's go to it uh, the video today is not very long um, so guys the first things first so the ink is is like a uh, the flow is something which runs here no, so in that sense, when the needle goes back up, back and forth, and the grip. So if you see here, this ink is very, very paced. See, on the grip there, now on the needle. So when you put on the skin, it's not much. You see, it's very blobby. So we stay very blobby, and that is very is. You have to have more power and machine and a, lo uh, a longer stroke to get this out because of course the ink is more solid more consistent right so and uh, you see you have to keep more into the middle no? so this is the first ink which is um, sorry guys uh more pasty more is so it's you, you don't do lines with it at all as well this is a color as you can see uh you don't do line with it you do use only for fill in of uh you know so here i have triple black which is less but still constant so you can see there similar you see don't even goes so, because it's more liquid. So in this case, machine has to be, again, see? Nothing happens. Oh, slowly. See, same. So the more liquid the ink, the more, um, more flow have, of course. So on, this, on the course of the tube. Yeah, so here, so this more pasty, less flow, more liquid, more flow. So for, for lining, obviously, you should use a more a deal white ink, which is more flow. You have more the course, so the ink stays and flows through the tube not on, the, on the per course of the needle. And here I have a liner, so this is 100% lining. Also, same thing because it's more liquid. So, but when you have this, this is like a, a, a pen, you know, this old school pens, a quill, the cold. Sorry, he's a mega mess here. It's something which goes like this. So, when the needle, if you put the tube here, you see it, so you get that, it holds the ink. It really holds the ink. So look. Oh, it's all there. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if uh, black, tribal black, like a triple black, or if it's. So I'm gonna make an purple here. See? That is the flow. Yeah. So 
And here is the one I made more very delight. So it's just pretty much rose water which I use. And you see, it is much much more flow. You can see the dry aspect of them is pretty fast. This is more slower. And then come down to think the ink form, which is paste. Look at that. So the same thing. But it's very pasty. There's a lot of uh, it's constant, so it's not the, the flow on this is much 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 slower. Okay. So let's make the machine run a little bit. Um, let's first do a little test with the line. So this is my little. It's okay. So this machine is fantastic. It can hold. So. I will do first with so when you pull it in there, you see, then you have a, this blob there, you see that? So a little trick to reduce that because if you put on the skin, what will happen look, will be this. Well actually this didn't happen, but you still have the drip in there. So what do you do first? You use this, you touch on the paper so the excess stays there, then you can do your line, so you can go there. Okay, so and that the flow is really nice. So again, so assess, take the assess off here. So you have a very cool. So the ink inside the, the tip there has a really, really fantastic flow. And as the ink is very, very liquid, so it's the membrane of the, the needle, it stays in a very nice flow. So again, we don't have this overload of ink. See? Okay, like that, again, okay, so that is a very nice flow, you still see, you still can do it, so there, again, don't touch the needle, touch just the base of the grip, okay, again, so now I'm going to use the, the, the super, super delight color. Again, take it off the excess, and obviously it will be very light because there's not much black in there, it's more liquid. As you can see, it's a different consistency. Let me clean this, can you see? The mess, 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 mess. So, again, remove the excess. Otherwise, this, if you put on a, on a skin, what gonna happen is, will, all this ink in excess here because it's super super flow will bling on the skin will blow on the skin will become a big a big big mess and then you have to wipe it off that will wipe it off possibly your stencil and maybe you have a trouble again it's the same link mink, so it's not flow at all it's I'm sorry it's not uh, dark at all it's very light Okay, so that's is now we're gonna do gonna use the, the triple black for but don't use this for lining please. This is not supposed to be for lining, it's not for lining. This actually is pretty decent, it's pretty 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 liquid. But I had before in the past uh, the triple black which was very pasted, more like the color. But you can see the constants, look, the difference between this is liner, black for shading, for black, black for salt black and shading. Again, same thing. This is a little, a little trick only to clean your tube without taking, just take the excess. But inside there on the grip, you have a full ink. So the flow of this ink on your needle will be perfect, right? So for, for lining work, I use a, lo a bit longer stroke. So because the flow of the ink, that's a personal choice. It's nothing to do. It doesn't. It's not written in any book. Okay, it has to be like that. Everybody adjust themselves so they they will go along. For shading, obviously, you you adjust your needle a shorter stroke. 
and a lower voltage. So why? Because you want the ink to have a flow and build smooth with the layers and of course you don't want to overwork this, this, this skin. Okay, so this is for a line thing. So put inside. Now we're gonna take the very loud one. I love this machine. It's old, I don't use for very for pretty long time now, so a few years. So let's see how it goes. Um, ooh, little baby, she's awake. So yeah, I missed that. I missed that machine. Okay, so let's try for the so when you wanna do um, a solid black piece or a solid color piece, which the ink is more solid, more less flowy. So you the flow of the ink obviously is more is harder. Uh, I, no, I usually recommend to use more a longer longer stroke, a little bit longer out, and a bit more power on the machine, so you can get. See, so the ink stays. But again, you have this extra drop down there. You can clean it and then you can start in circle moves for coloring, right? Make a little square here. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, if you would be a client, would stay 100%. This is a this fake uh, skin thingy, which is harder to work with, of course. Okay, so that is done more in the sense of. This is pretty solid black. So in this machine, the only downside for me I find is that you cannot adjust the tube. Now you have to open everything, and that is some, I'm used to the new machines which you just tick, tick, tick. And this you don't have this possibility. So now we're gonna make this for more like a for shading, which I would do. So then you look more, press the grip down, the needle down, and then you assume. Or, that will be in the right length. Here we go. Again, cleans up the tube, the excess. Okay, let's see. So now I will use the very flow shading ink, less needle down out. In this case, you could even reduce the power of the machine, which is. Five volts in this case, this machine. You just do very, very gentle. Everybody have a different way to shade, so I have. Uh, I've been trying different ways over the years. Try to get my way around to get best shading smooth and, and and consistent so like dynamic but still there it's, it's not it's not easy it doesn't come from the day to the other it takes time to learn from them but you see the flow of the ink is pretty nice it's smooth you have the ink constantly coming down the right amount you're looking for for shading Again, just clean a little bit of the tube to take it excess. And again, dip in again. See on the tube. Take the time. Don't do things running. Don't do fast, 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 fast. And then again. make anything perfect here and like a square or anything just make a patch or something to just for you guys to see the way I do doesn't mean it is the right way or the wrong way it's just the way okay so is there no book of magic 
Okay, and for the last, let's pack some color, which is a solid one. So high up the machine again to 5.5. .5. In this case, because this is more solid, I think we should put up the needle a bit longer out. So I can stick out the needle a bit more. Oops. Well, in this case, I'm not working skin or anything, so I don't have it. So otherwise, I would change the whole thing. I would change gloves or take everything out. So it's a process. And the machines, the normal machines, or the old school machines, a little bit more time consuming process. But you should do if you have one of those. You know, always keep change gloves, keep clean, don't touch. Don't touch materials or your machine, stuff like that. If you use the gloves or gloves you're using for tattooing and then you're going to touch something else, please don't do that. Change everything, keep always hygienical and avoid to have cross-contamination, okay? So here, again, see, you can see the needle is sticking out a lot more. So it's, it's longer, the stroke is longer and the power of the machine is louder. Of course, it will be much more louder noise on the grid on the on the on the silicon here you see that it's really pasty it's really really pasty extremely extremely excessive All right so let's see what's going to happen here you see and leaves much much more ink on the skin well, this guy here um I always would be, be careful with the amount of ink you leave on the excessive on the skin, so because... See, this is pretty similar, very same uh, technique for filling black and for filling colors. Certain things we should be careful when you blend colors and stuff like that, but we can come to that in the future, you know, and get that done, okay? So wipe it off, of course here is just not really careful about but okay again you have this whole excess into on the grip or in the grip here in case and here again okay let me see how that goes the client didn't say the word so it didn't hurt i suppose and it's very solid. So let me clean, then we see the end result, okay? Here we have three different, four different ways uh, of the ink. So one of them is a solid, triple black, triple black, normal color, which will be the packing color, colors, which you're gonna, unfortunately from the 4th of January, in three days time, we are possibly not able to use for a while, and then maybe into 2023, 20, it could be banned forever. So please guys, Sign to the petition if you that would be big help for the, us for the world for the tattoo industry for us as, a, as an artist it would be would be very helpful. Please, yeah, I will put the description in the link. Um, so black, so this is a, it's called triple black, so it's only for solid black or for yeah for big pieces of black and so on. Liner, you can see it's less less condensed, so it's. Uh, I mix it with a uh, um, witch hazel and here is a line with shading so basically it was two drops of uh, uh, ink and full rose water on top of it and here you can see we patch it up in different ways so here's color which is extremely extremely condensed it's very very solid here is black, which is the black for, for they call tribal black, which is what we use back in the days for, and that's the shading, okay? So this is the variations we can use uh, for, for the flow. Uh, I will make, uh, the, again, possibly a video on this, but in the physical and actual tattooing, so you can have a bit more like a idea how the whole process is in the actual working okay so for now it's so i wish you guys a pleasant january beginning of the year hope so everything's fine on the end and a happy new year happy 2022 thank you very much thank you bye